sure to make you laugh. If you've checked out the middle, then you've seen our next guest. He is a hunk who's funny as well. He has an inspirational story. He started off in the Midwest and had the dream to go to Hollywood. How many people have those dreams? And who actually lands a role within nine months? John did. He'll tell us how. The break happened uh, after I auditioned for that small role. I actually was in the grocery store parking lot, and I saw our casting director from the show, G. Charles Wright, and you know, said hello to him. I actually got to shake his hand. For those people who don't know anything about acting, when you go to an audition, you never shake the person's hand. It's just too many hands to shake, and too quick, whatever. Uh, but I got to shake his hand, and he said, you know, you finished second today. I was like, oh, yeah, but see, this is good, because later on down the season, uh, if we need something, if we need to bring you in, we know that you're really, really good, so we'll bring you in. I'm like, sure, you know, like thinking in my head, you know, smile, say goodbye to him. And sure enough, months down the road, he has this character named Darren who's not the sharpest tool in the shed, and they bring me in, and eventually that's, that's what it becomes. I would counsel others to, I, I had maybe too intense of a uh, uh, attitude. I was very, uh, I was almost like, I almost looked at it like a war, you know, like I need to be like a soldier. <laughs> I'm ready to go to battle wherever, whenever, at any time. It's not like I would get into like street fights or anything, but I still like took it so seriously. This was all I was doing every day of the week, no matter what. And if I had to, yeah, I'll work a part-time job for eight bucks an hour, but I'm not here to bust tables. I'm not here to do anything but act in TV and film and some good theater. That's it. I'm not here to do, I'm not here to scrub floors or, you know, do toilets. I'll do it, but, like, uh, I'm here to act. Just tell us about not being too intense in an audition. How did you find that zen to walk in and go, it's showtime? You find the zen in the script itself. I mean... You know, look, The Middle is a funny, funny show, and they have very talented writers on there. And the piece that I was auditioning for was a hilarious scene. Uh, so I just, you know, in order to make those scenes work, you have to be very, very loose. You have to be in the moment and just, I think, <laughs> sort of on the, on the, on the edge of, of breaking character and laughing because it's, it's hilarious. So you really need to let it loose and just have fun not worry about anything, just have fun, and that's it. Not worry about getting the job because you won't get the job that way. If you're worrying about getting the job, you won't get it, you know? Follow your dreams, but don't, don't let your safety valve, your, your, your escape route, so to speak, don't let that take anything more than what it needs to. Don't ever put any more of your resources into that escape route than you need to because it, it's all about the dream. If you're not putting almost everything you got into that dream, it's not going to happen.